Now to this. This man convicted of first degree murder back in 1983, maybe just six days away from the state carrying out his sentence, death by lethal injection. Edmund Zagorski is scheduled to die shortly after 7 p.m. on Thursday. Today we learn Governor Haslam won't step in to stop his execution. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb tells us more about the crime Zagorski was convicted of in Robertson County. As the state Supreme Court considers its decision regarding the future of lethal injection in Tennessee, an attorney for condemned inmate Edmund Zagorski says he hopes the governor will reconsider his decision not to grant Zagorski clemency. It was a double murder back in 1983 that put Edmund Zagorski, 28 years old at the time, on death row. News Channel 5 cameras were at the scene 35 years ago. We found a spent cartridge from a rifle there at the scene that uh, we feel is connected with the death of these two men. A jury convicted Zagorski of killing two men, John Dotson and Jimmy Porter, one of whom Zagorski met at the Lakeland Trout Farm in Hickman County. He was known as Jesse, or Ed, a drifter who told people he was camping in the nearby woods. Zagorski set up a bogus drug deal in Robertson County, but then shot Dotson and Porter, then slit their throats, letting them bleed to death. Finally, he took their money. Citizen reported hearing some shots the same day that this took place. And uh, we're still trying to determine where the shots came from. Zagorski fled to Ohio, where he got into a shootout with police. One officer, whom Zagorski shot five times, miraculously survived. Zagorski was brought back to Tennessee with a trove of evidence, high-powered weapons, body armor, and thousands of dollars in cash. The jury said the killings exhibited, quote, torture or depravity of mind. Now, at 63 years old, Zagorski isn't scheduled to reach 64. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. In refusing to grant clemency today, the governor said even though Zagorski has shown good behavior while in prison, it does not undo the severity of his crimes. The state Supreme Court is currently deciding whether the state's three drug lethal injection mix is legal in Tennessee. A ruling in favor of the death row inmates would delay Zagorski's execution.